Good morning, everyone. Before we get into this morning's update, we have a lot to talk about here on this uh, Thursday morning. First, we've got XRP down about 1.5%. Very simple to see what happened here. XRP hit that 63 cent mark. Mark. Now, XRP still managed when it came down to hold the 59.7 cent mark last night. Did come just a tiny bit below. But as of right now, XRP still hasn't given back the 59.7 cent support now, which used to be resistance for six and a half years going back to 2018. So the fact we've so far been able to manage to hold that 59.7 cents as a newfound support instead of resistance is still a very good sign. I know it's hard to see right across the board, but if we start looking at this in a more detailed level, not just XRP, but we had speculated about Ethereum that it was going to put in an inverse head and shoulders. And until it uh, played out properly, you weren't seeing this. And now we can see this inverse head and shoulders. I have no idea. We speculated on Ethereum that it would have to create this inverse head and shoulders. And we said, although the right shoulder hadn't pulled down because it was all the way up here around 3,400, it wouldn't look like an inverse head and shoulders until it was. And now we've set up this beautiful inverse head and shoulders. Now the question is, is will Ethereum play out truthfully? I mean, if you're going to take a shot on Ethereum and you're looking for an explosive uh, move out of the ETF launch, exchange traded fund just like bitcoin back a few months ago bitcoin had the initial dump off as now ethereum has had a pretty significant dump off and now to me it's got this inverse head and shoulders pattern created so we'll take a look at that and see what would happen if it breaks bullish or bearish we've also got with a very similar formation dgb here dgb on this inverse head and shoulders we've got the inverse left shoulder inverse right arm that pulled farther down we got the inverse head, and I can draw it out so everybody can see as well. So we'll also be taking a look at XRP, Bitcoin, uh, we'll take a look at XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then we will end with DGB right at the end. So please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. It's very important that everybody sees this update. We'll go from XRP and see how much of a chance we have to continue moving and try to break past that 63 cents to ultimately try to push up to 70 and more. Or we'll see what our underneath support is that could force us to fall through. And we know 59.7 cents right now is everything. 60.3 would be nice to start using that support on the rising channel resistance. Now attempting it as a support so that we could start pushing up volatilely up to the resistances above us. But we'll go over all of that and more on this update for the next 20 minutes. Please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube recommends this update. By you hitting that like button, YouTube recommends my video. That means whether you're already a subscriber or not, you can see it on the news feed. It simply means when you're scrolling through your YouTube news feed, my content will show up as an option for you to click on. And if it's in the line of sight of somebody, whether you're new or older, you'll have more of a chance of clicking on my content than not seeing it. So please make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 9.54 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Thursday, July 25th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, I don't like to choose to look at the red as a downturn. I like to look at the red as moments of opportunity. As some of you know, XRP has had a very tough time breaking over this 2018 resistance. In fact, we've been going through this for many, many, many years. Um, so it's going to be pretty interesting. It's funny because uh, we've had a hard time not just getting past 59.7, but also getting past this 62.9 cents resistance. This, so I'm going to... This is the expandable zone, so it's very important to keep this because we have hit that expandable zone. 
but we've had a very hard time right now and this is our current attempt at 62.8 we're trying to get up over that 62.8 to confirm the signal so we signal to move up to around 70 cents and further with the breach over our 2018 resistance and we've had a very hard time doing this so if you're new i'll just give you the the brief backstory here so back where you see put this in the weekly to make it easier a dollar 98 and then you go back here to three dollars and 31 cents 331 is january of 2018 roughly that's when we hit all-time highs it took us 27 months ago to swing low in uh march of 2020 at 10.8 cents then we hit again right here around December of 2020 where we hit 18.2 cents for support two. We hit resistance two at $1.98 in April of 21. We hit support three at 30 cents right around December 22, January of 23. We hit resistance three at March of 2024 at 74.8. We hit support four at 40.2 cents back in late June. And we hit resistance four at 59.6 cents and just July here. Now we've pushed through resistance for, and now we're pushing up and we're trying to confirm this signal. The only way to confirm this signal is to get up and over 63 cents, which is a multi-year pattern formation. But every time we come up here, we have been unable to break this as of right now. So why have we not been able to break it? I don't know, but we just haven't had enough support in the last several well i do know why we haven't had the volume portfolio that we need to have a newfound breakout now this is the first time since 2018 that xrp's actually had a chance to go bullish here like severely bullish if it can get on top of this formation from 2018 then the signal would come if we can get on top of and hold 62.8 cents that looks like a pretty big inverted hammer candle there possibly here in the daily so if we hold the support it could be interesting however if we see today that XRP comes down below 59.7 and we start to break down, that's where it could get interesting for XRP's price analysis. And that's where we could find ourselves in the expandable zone. And I don't want everybody to think when it gets into the expandable zone that it just breaks down. But if we were to lose 60.3 cents here roughly, you could come down here in real time, in real time. Mm, let's lower this to the four hourly to make this a little more precise. You're looking at about 57.3 cents. So if we break that 59.7, well, 60.3 would be your first small signal that we could come down to that 57.3 cent area. So if we lose 60.3, it would open up the possibility. And then if you do get below um, 59.7, that would all but guarantee a move to 57.3. So pay attention to that this morning with XRP. We'll circle back to an article I want to read in just a second. But Ethereum's down 5.6% today. We expected to have a lot of volatility to the downside. As we suspected that it would try to fill out an inverse head and shoulders pattern um, for Ethereum. But for some reason, my stuff keeps being deleted. And it's, it's I don't know why. Every time I put my Ethereum chart back on, it just deletes. But we have this inverse head and shoulders that we are forming. Um, and if it's going to become volatile, it's right in this area that it would. And let me try to draw this in again. This would be the third time I've tried to draw this in and it keeps deleting for some reason. We've got what looks like an inverse head and shoulders here. And we've also got like inverse left shoulder, inverse head, inverse right shoulder. And we're also looking at the fact that We've got one shoulder, head, right shoulder. Let me turn this, I wanna change these orange. I would like to change this orange just so it's easier to see. And we can clearly see that it looks like we've created this inverse head and shoulders. If this plays out, your first short target's gonna bring you all the way back up to 3,800. Now, I'm looking at the scenario where it's just like Bitcoin, how Bitcoin initially dumped out on the ETF news when it was not just news, but when it was finally opened up. And that looks like Ethereum's taking the exact same route. We speculated a few short days ago that Bitcoin or uh, Ethereum would have this big breakdown. And then if you were gonna take a shot on this ETF, it would be on the breakdown. It came down to 3,126. And now we've bounced off of it so far. If this inverse head and shoulders plays out, 
our technical move on Ethereum, our first big resistance would be to come back up to 3,800 if it does reverse itself. A lot of stuff needs to happen to prove that this inverse head and shoulders will play out. But as of right now in the short term, that's exactly what is set up. Four hourly and the relative strength index is severely oversold. Three hourly, two hourly. The one hourly is still oversold massively. 45 oversold, 30 minute oversold. Breaking back into more bullish territory if it can keep pushing. 15's push back into more of a consolidation area. But at some point here, if it doesn't break down, you could see a big opportunity here with Ethereum. Bitcoin did this exact same thing on the ETF release. So we'll see if uh, Ethereum is going to be up to the same tricks as uh, Bitcoin and have the initial dump down and then we'll see. Because there's a lot of volume coming in through the Ethereum trade for, or the uh, exchange traded fund for Ethereum. So that very well could make it hot. So I'm going to be very curious to see what happens here going forward. I know there's a 5.5% drop, but this is what we anticipated as a community. And now it's opportunity zone. Opportunity zone. DGB is at minus 0.83%, very similar to Ethereum. They both created what looks like a very solid inverse head and shoulders. And for DGB, the first target here, if it did reverse down off of 702, which it's starting to, you'd come up to 853. Now for transparency, I bought at 734 area and 708. So I've been buying in as it comes down. I don't know where this inverse right arm is going to end. But if this inverse head and shoulders plays out, there's a lot of appreciation coming for not just Ethereum, but also DGB as it looks very similar to Ethereum right now. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see if these are just fake outs here and the, the inverse head and shoulders. As with head and shoulders, they don't always play out promptly. But this, with the kind of setup Ethereum and DGB has at about a 78% clip. This should reverse back up in time. Now, you don't know where that's going to be. The inverse right arm could come down farther. It could already have hit the swing low. We don't know. So now it's just time to watch. And if it breaks through what looks like these inverse head and shoulders, obviously that would mean a big invalidation. So right now it looks like an opportunity setting up, but we'll have to remain to be seen to see if the DGB and Ethereum opportunities are actually going to play out. But you have to make educated, informed decisions. I'm not a financial advisor, so you're going to have to come up with your own decision. If you're looking to trade XRP, Ethereum, some of the other ones, video description below and our pinned comments. You've got BitUnix, which is my favorite um, because of the lowest spot and leverage trading fees. You don't need to use VPN or KYC, only KYC unless you send a receipt from a bank account. You've also got Hotcoin, which I love tremendously as well. They have low spot and leverage trading fees. Same rules apply, no VPN or KYC unless your bank account are receiving uh, from a bank account, you need to do a KYC. But Hotcoin has an expandable ecosystem. A little more expensive to use, but it's basically pennies on the dollar. So it's not much. It's minute difference. Um, but there are a lot more tokens. You've got the XRP Bitcoin pairing. You've got Casper. You've got IOTA and IOTA X and everyone down that group. So make sure you give it an honest look there. So BitUnix and uh, Hotcoin in the video description below and pinned comments is my personal suggestion if you want to trade crypto. So now that we've got Bitcoin or uh, DGB, XRP, and Ethereum out of the way, let's take a look at Bitcoin as it's down 2.45% or 1,600 points on the day. And then before we leave, we're going to get our reading done. So if you look at this logically, Ethereum overnight came down and finished this move. Ethereum came down and finished this inverse head and shoulders. Now, if this doesn't hold, you could see another continuation down here, and it could get you down near 2,800. So it's very volatile, but right now if you're taking a uh, hop, skip, and a jump here, as on technical analysis, you've got to add forward thinking, you start looking for the inverse head and shoulders setup. With Bitcoin, it hasn't come down as much. So is this a case where Ethereum is going to get hot and it's going to take the liquidity from Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin certainly looks like it's going to have to come all the way down here to match the formations if um, it wanted to. Now, the one caveat I will give you about Bitcoin is if this is, let me switch just the yellow now. If this is an inverse head and shoulders, is it not possible that Bitcoin came up here and now it's consolidating into a handle and then it could bounce out? That's the one opportunity for Bitcoin that it actually came up, it's creating a handle here, and then it's gonna pop out instead of having this big retracement. That's the only scenario I can see where Bitcoin doesn't give this all back. To come back down to this inverse right now. It is the only scenario. So if we're watching Bitcoin right now, that's the scenario. 
Are we actually in an inverse? I'm going to delete these because it's in the way. Are we in an inverse head and shoulders? Or is Bitcoin about to hold serve here? And this is actually a back test of a much smaller cup and handle. Because I could argue that it's back testing a cup and handle. And the back test would complete at 63,300 area. So if that happens, you could... You could invalidate the further drop down, but if it's going to look like Ethereum, if it's going to look like some of the rest, you definitely could see an inverse right shoulder that could create on Bitcoin. It does have a little bit of a bear flag here in the three hour release, so I would not be surprised. So overall, we're looking a little bearish this morning, but it's only bearish because we're still in the current rotation of the drop down. We've had major drop down, so I'm going to be interested to see Ethereum. I'm going to be uh, interested in seeing Bitcoin, DGB, XRP and see how this plays out. Could be a lot of money to be lost here and could be a lot of money to be gained here. And finally, I want to uh, talk about this. 3.6 billion XRP, what is happening? So XRP into something big, 47% volume surge proves it. The digital currency ecosystem is nosediving, a trend that has allowed XRP to shine. While the combined market has recorded a total liquidation of $300 million on the back of a 2.99% slump in Bitcoin, XRP has broken from the trend, jumping 0.95% to $0.60.9 cents in the past 24 hours. XRP metric shows bullish strength. XRP has, not, has seen not just its price inc. an upsurge, but its trading volume has jumped to an unprecedented level. Per data from CoinMarketCap, the volume is up 47% to $2.238 billion. Proof that sentiment in the ecosystem. Wait a minute. $2,238,753,637. Proof that sentiment in the XRP ecosystem is ripe and driving growth overall. The research for this uptick are linked to the potential Ripple Labs Inc. versus SEC lawsuit settlement or ruling. There are rumors of a closed door meeting between the market regulator and the payments company while earlier scheduled for this sentiment schedules for this sentiment yielded no results there are indications both parties may soon have the conversation anytime from now if the rumors prove to be true xrp stands to gain a lot from any settlement while the amount of ripple will pay for selling the coin to institutional investors may be fairly huge closing the whole lawsuit will serve as a boost for the xrp to soar in the near term xrp one dollar looming the price of XRP has remained the most strained digital currency over the past three years since the SEC brought on the lawsuit against Ripple, despite XRP's vindication last year when Judge Annalisa Torres ruled that the coin in itself is not an investment contract, the price has not broken the $1 milestone since December of 2021. With the current outlook of the price of XRP, the coin might be gearing up to soar beyond the $1 mark. Should a settlement be announced, this massive rally might be recorded after all so a lot of um inconsistency here with xrp and crypto very red today you've also got very red gold silver commodities b2 gold's coming down to that two dollars and 84 cent target so pay attention to that area um so a lot of people see red in the market i see a lot of opportunity developing and like i said i'm watching very closely that ethereum setup as it's come down a lot here but it, it's either it's created this inverse right arm or it hasn't. And this is just going to give way and it's just going to fall right through. Right now, we've come down now. We're at 3,102 roughly it's hit. So we'll see how Ethereum reacts. At some point, we're going to see is Ethereum meant to break out or is it going to break down and this whole ETF was a buy the rumor, sell the news. We initially had this with Bitcoin after the, the uh, ETF was announced, just like Ethereum has come rocketing down. It was no different with Bitcoin. Bitcoin did the same thing initially. And right now, Ethereum's come down since the ETF announcement, like 25%. It was up to 4,100. It's down over $1,000 per token. $1,000 per token it's down. So we've gone from 31 or 4,100 roughly to 3,100. Is that a big enough correction for Ethereum to start having this move up? with the exchange traded fund is this enough for the uh crypto market to start reversing or are we just going to continue to roll down here and we're going to have to call it a day here with crypto as far as the green time right now today's a big liquidity day we'll see how it turns we'll see if in fact these bottom poles here by ethereum will allow it to surge up 
and we'll see in the next day or two if we're around 33, 3400 again. If not, it could be the case we've fallen through that inverse head and this pattern would be invalidated. But right now I see opportunity and I hope you are paying attention.